In today's video, I'm going to show you how to activate international markets in Shopify. So when you have a Shopify now, you won't automatically be able to sell to different countries, whereas before you would have. And this is a big issue and you might be confused as to why your shipping method isn't working, for example, why it's not showing up. Now, the number one reason is probably because you haven't activated your international markets. So what we're going to do is go to settings and we want to go down to markets. Here we go. Now you can see my primary market here is set to the United Kingdom, but in other markets we have European and international. So we want to go to the market we want to activate. So let's say international, we go to manage and there's a little button here that says inactive. We want to go to activate. We can hit save. Now, this isn't just what you need to do, as in this will work, but this isn't all that is to it. So you can go here and you can create subdomains for the store, which, you know, it can be very useful. So if you need like canada.yourstore.com, you can do that here. So you can sort that here. You can also install the languages and translations to make it run smoothly. So if you have Spain, you can change it to Spanish, for example. Now, products and pricing. So if you want them to have their default currency, you're going to need to go to the Shopify payments and sort out and um, set up your payment processor. Once you've done that, so this one wants Shopify payments. Once you've done that, you can go here and click show prices to customers in their local currency. So this means if you uh, turn up to the store and you're from Spain, you're going to get shown in euros, etc. Now, something you can do is you can just inflate the price by like 10% for like different countries. If you have extra fees or stuff like that, so you can decrease it if you'd like to. Um, and you can do that individually on a product by product basis. You know, it may, there may be reasons you want to do that. So the next thing we can do here is duties and import taxes. So we can click here and we can enable the duties and import taxes over here. And from here, we'd be able to select the different you know, countries that we want import taxes and duties, and we could change them there. So that's very useful if you have sales tax in America, for example. Now shipping. What you want to do here is you want to make sure that the country you're selling to has a shipping rate. So you can click here and it shows, yep, it's, it's got a shipping rate. If it doesn't or it's not showing up as you want to, you can click this, manage in shipping. It's going to send you to the shipping panel. And then from here you can find, you know, look what market it's in. This is in the international. So we'd go over here, we'd look at international. And then we could figure out, okay, this is this one. Let's add a new rate. But if you want to learn more about like the uh shipping rates and stuff like that i've got another video about it which is very useful and explains everything so next we have the payments so we can manage the payment methods we accept for specific current countries um we'd have to set that up but like if you want to accept paypal in one country but not another then that's possible and again you can set the taxes here cool up here you can go to edit so you can change what's in a market so if you would like to add a region or remove a region you can do that you can also i you can change this handle here customers won't be able to see this but this is just for yourself if you have like a specific thing now if i go back what i can do here is i can create a new market so i can add market and you can type the name of the market in again customers won't see this so you could put like top five if you've got like the top five countries sell to for example you can add countries and regions, so let's see, Algeria, Botswana, Congo, Ethiopia, Liberia. You could add those, done. You hit save. <clears throat> and then from there, you can activate it. But first, we have to create shipping rates. So, we'd have to go to the shipping. We'd have to create a new rate for these countries, create a no profile or zone. And then once we've done that, you'd be able to come over here and you'd be able to activate it like that. Now, lastly, something else we can do is we can go to one that we want. So this one, for example, we can remove market and that's going to remove it. It means the customers won't be able to check out. Another thing we can do here is we can click view here and this will view the country you don't sell to. So if you have like specific countries your customers are coming from, so let's say like uh, Spain. Okay, it's not in there, so it means we sell to Spain. If you type to like uh, Argentina, 
see, oh, Argentina's in here, meaning we don't sell to them. So you'd want to go here and add a market. Now, there's a ton of settings you can fit around of in here, and they're very useful for uh, customizing your store and making the experience good for your customers. But that's how you activate the markets on Shopify. So if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please like, subscribe, and comment down below that it helped. Plus, comment down below if you have any video ideas or want me to explain anything better. Thank you for watching.